This demo covers a process discovery scenario with Acme Corporation. We will show you how they use Automation Anywhere process discovery to find and document automation opportunities. Acme Corporation has a company-wide goal to reduce costs by 10%. We will focus on the finance line of business and how they will meet this goal. There are several key players in this line of business. Let's examine each persona and their role in achieving this company-wide goal. Barbara is the line of business owner, and she is responsible for ensuring that her line of business meets this goal. Alan is the business analyst. He is the person who will be using the platform to discover the processes that are run by employees within this line of business. Bria is one of the employees that executes the process, and Izzy is the IT administrator who helps set up the software to begin with. Starting with Barbara, she already had her line of business automate the low-hanging fruit using manual process discovery. They hit the common problems with manual process discovery, including getting very limited and incomplete information from just a few subject matter experts, which resulted in them having to rework automations they created. Barbara knows that there are more automation opportunities, but doesn't know exactly what those are. She wants to avoid the problems they previously had. She needs to get more process data at scale across all applications employees use in an easily consumable format to understand how people really work so she and her team can make quantifiable decisions on what to automate. Barbara has decided to leverage Automation Anywhere process discovery to discover processes quickly, accurately, and at scale. Izzy, the IT admin, deploys the process discovery software sensors on the desktop of the employees that execute the processes they are interested in. Izzy does not have to do any work to make sure the applications will work with Automation Anywhere process discovery. Due to Automation Anywhere's process discovery computer vision-based platform, if you can see it on the screen, it works with the platform. Izzy also configures each sensor to only allow those web domains and applications that they are okay with leaving their own network. This is important as Acme has some restrictions on what data can leave their network. In addition, Izzy deploys the Automation Anywhere Privacy Enhanced Gateway. This is a computer vision-based gateway that runs in their own virtual private cloud and redacts sensitive text from screenshots before they get to the cloud platform. Here's an example of what that looks like. Bria, one of the many employees executing the process, just continues to do her job. This is her desktop. Most task mining requires the employee to click start to start recording a specific process and stop to stop recording. However, Automation Anywhere process discovery does not require this. The process discovery sensor just runs in the background on Bria's machine with no impact to her. Now let's talk about Alan. The majority of the demo will focus on how Alan uses Automation Anywhere process discovery to find automation opportunities. We'll focus on the invoice entry process in this demo. Alan logs into the process discovery platform to look at the data. He sees all the data has been collected with screens automatically named and actions labeled automatically, as you can see by the name of the button. Automation Anywhere Process Discovery's computer vision capabilities allow it to identify each screen and field names on any application, including mainframes, Citrix, other VDIs, legacy apps, and more. Again, if you can see it, it works with the platform. Alan looks at the event reporting dashboard to get a sense of what the team is doing before he dives into the process discovery. He was told the invoice entry process was mostly done in SAP. However, when he looks at the event reporting dashboard, he notices that there was a lot of work done in Excel and lots of work done in this app called FinApp. Alan sees that the reality is that most of the process does not take place in SAP. This is information he wouldn't have had with previous manual process discovery or even traditional task mining that's limited to a few subject matter experts. Alan now wants to discover what process the team follows. He enters the mining run area of the application and enters the parameters to tell the platform what area he wants to focus on. He can even enter the name of the button and screen that represents the end of the invoice entry process. In this case, when someone clicks Submit on the Invoice Details page. Alan then clicks Create and Run. Process Discovery finds all the processes that match the parameters and even recommends the processes Alan should focus on for optimization or automation opportunities. First, he decides to focus on the process that is both highly recommended by the platform and also the one that takes the most amount of time from the team. Alan opens that process and immediately sees even more indicators that help him determine where to focus. 
The paths that happen more often have thicker lines. The platform also provides the count of how many times each path happens and various duration metrics to determine how long each path takes to help him focus on those areas that make sense. The number of variations shown here across the team is much more information than Alan would have gotten from manual process discovery. In addition, Alan has the ability to add some context to this process. While the platform is the best at identifying the processes accurately at scale, the platform does not understand the business context. This context will be important later when Alan leverages the platform to create a process definition document, or PDD. Alan uses the diagram composer to select the context labels he's created and puts them into a process model that he wants to document. After that, he simply saves it and clicks Generate PDD to create the PDD. The platform automatically creates the PDD. The diagram that Alan created is here. The platform also documents a click-by-click -click Level 5 doc of exactly what happens. It creates the sentences and automatically crops the screenshots to the areas where the activity occurred while also providing a link to the full image. While looking through the PDD, Alan observes that there is a lot of information entered using Excel, SAP, and FinApp. He notices that the steps in Excel and FinApp are simply the employee copying data from the invoice into those applications. He realizes that they can automate all of that. In fact, with Automation Anywhere document automation, they can potentially automate the entire process. Alan can provide this document to the automation developers so they know exactly what to automate. Alan now wants to show the benefit of automation and calculate the expected ROI and show it to the leadership to position his recommendations. The platform allows Alan to export the data for any process into a CSV file that can be imported by any BI tool. In this case, he uses Power BI with the template provided by Automation Anywhere. Alan feels that initially he can automate at least the Excel and FinApp steps of the process, which amount to 40% of the process if not more. He knows that there are 50 employees around the world who do this. He knows the cost of each employee, in this case $60 per hour per employee, and the number of days the process is done, in this case 260 days per year. When all this data is combined with the data from the process discovery platform that tells how much time it takes to do the process per person, he is able to get an ROI estimate if they are able to automate 40% of the process. This gives him quantifiable data to back up his automation decision. As a result, Acme was able to quickly discover processes across all applications with no integration required. They were able to do this accurately at scale, leveraging the power of the Automation Anywhere cloud while keeping sensitive data on their own network.